Well, something old is new again. A new electric car made of hemp is being developed by a group of Canadian companies working in conjunction with the Canadian government. The Kestrel will be prototyped and tested this fall by Calgary-based Motive Industries Incorporated, a high-tech auto manufacturer. Now, this compact car, which seats four, will have a top speed of 90 kilometers or about 56 miles an hour and a range of up to 100 miles before needing to be recharged. The car's body will be made of an impact-resistant composite material produced from mats of, you guessed it, hemp. The hemp is also being grown in Canada. Now, Henry Ford was the first to build a car made of hemp fiber and resin back in the 1930s. That was more than half a century ago, but the idea wasn't developed much further as cannabis prohibition went into effect in 1937 and car manufacturers favored other materials such as steel. But in the last 25 years, fiberglass and carbon fiber-based composites have gained popularity as materials for automobiles because they are strong and lighter weight. But producing composites from glass or carbon requires intense heat and multiple chemical processes, making them very energy intensive. In contrast, plant-based fibers like hemp is grown in a field using only the energy of the sun. As a structural material, hemp is about twice the strength of other plant fibers. It doesn't require much water or pesticide, and it also produces a high yield and grows well in Canada. Nathan Armstrong, president of Motive Industries Incorporated, adds, and I quote, it's illegal to grow cannabis in the U.S., so it actually gives Canada a bit of a market advantage, end quote. The U.S. does, however, allow the import of processed hemp. We here at Cannabis Planet applaud the effort of the Canadian government and their private industry partners. But we can't help but question the wisdom of our own government for continuing to prohibit cannabis, particularly in these trying financial times. This amazing plant can be used as a food, fuel, fiber, and medicine. It creates new jobs, promotes industry, and generates new tax revenues. It's time for the politicians in Washington to wake up and smell the, well, you know where I'm going with this. For Cannabis Planet, I'm Pat Finnerty. Now make it a great evening.